Hello everyone, welcome back to Reading with Leanne. We are going to read the book over and under the pond. This is by Kate Messner and the artwork in this book is by Christopher Silas Neal. So looking at the cover of the book, we see a boy and his mom and they're paddling in a pond. Let's take a dip and see what this is about. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds and then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the pond, Mom says. So they're looking under, and under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes. Whirligig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunch. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, Two, three, splish. They slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh. Under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch under the pond. Beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Hmm. Who knew that muddy roots could be so yummy? Over the pond, the wind gives us a push stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There, on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. It probably hatched not too long ago, right? It's going to learn. And is that the moose we saw earlier in the back? Under the pond, the tadpoles are changing, learning to pop, 
They're losing tails, growing legs, growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long-legged step, and <laughs> strikes. It catches a wiggling, quick silver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for fresh water mussel. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch Minot's with monster fast jaws. Did you know that dragonfly larvae look like this? Mm. They're very scary looking, right? I feel like the baby dragonflies in the water look even more scary than dragonflies, adult dragonflies in the air. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Oz prays circle on Quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. <sniffs> Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish <sniffs> disappears in the dark. It doesn't want to get eaten. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto the shore as a far off loon calls, good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and the ribbon tadpole turn frogs, waiting herons and stalking raccoons, and the hidden world under the pond. It's nighttime now. So that's the end of our book. But if you have this book at home, there's an author's note. And I know that when we think often about, you know, water creatures, we think about the ocean. But ponds and wetlands, they provide home to so many plants and animals around the world. And we looked at the pond ecosystem today. And actually, there is a little bit of a breakdown about all the animals we read about the whirligig beetles, the brook trouts, the painted turtles, the red-winged blackbirds, and so much more. So if you have this book at home, or if you have this book in your library, you can take it out and look through these creatures. Because I know it's not every day that we might head to um, the ocean, right? But you might head to a pond more often and you can see if you recognize any of these animals when you're at a pond. So thank you so much for reading along with me. This was called Over and Under the Pond.
by Kate Messner and the art was by Christopher Silas Neal. Thank you.